Today, I am making the same Photoshop edit three times. Once in five minutes, once in 30, and once unlimited time. All to see how big of a difference time really makes. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're again doing another time challenge, of course, in the apocalypse theme. These are the photos I have for today, and it has to become something like this. A foreground image for the foreground, obviously. Then behind that, we need these two photos, and in the distance, this city. Then I myself will be centered there, and these two lads on both sides. The tower shall be here, and then the skies kind of speak for themselves. And finally, the mask and symbol are to be applied to my costume. Pretty basic idea, I know, but I guess this is more about the technical side anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Now, let's give this five minutes of our precious time and open up Photoshop. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, for five minutes. I have the clock ready, as you can see. It's gonna be pretty epic, so let's just freaking go. Three, two, one. The clock is running. Uh, okay, let's see. First of all, I'm gonna drag in the main photo, that being me, myself, and I. Look how beautiful that is. So uh, let's drag this in there as well. Very nice. Then I will use quick selection to mask that out because we don't have all day. Okay, let's go. We've got this beautiful background image, which I'm gonna put sort of right here. There you go. And then the ground has to continue on the right. Then we don't want this sky because it sucks. There you go, beautiful. Um, then let's see, the next photo I have is another photo of some sort of uh, house building. So uh, let's put that right here. Then uh, let's just use a pen tool very quick and sort of mask that out. Uh, okay, then what's next? We have uh, the sky. <laughs> I'm not stressed whatsoever. Uh, like that. And then we have another sky, which we should blend in there sort of, but we're never gonna be able to do that in time for the five minute version. Kind of fade it out like so. Gorgeous, perfect, absolutely amazing. Then let's go and add the uh, city in the background. Just right there. I think that is absolutely freaking perfect. Let's go and add some levels because this is terrible. Uh, then we are going to have to put these guys in here because there's two other survivors, if you will, that we need to add. Then there's also this guy. The time is ticking. Then I also need to add this gas mask, which uh, should fit pretty much perfectly. There you go. Very detailed and pretty, I know. This is my best work yet. Okay, very nice. And then we also have the nuclear uh, symbol that we need to put somewhere here, <laughs> I guess. A little over a minute left. Uh, do we have everything? No, we also need to add the tower right here. Um, I'm going to add a quick shadow below me, I guess, because that's like the most important thing right now to do. Let's go and sort of do that. We've got a bit of shadow below my legs here. Oh, this is so realistic. I can't believe how realistic this is. Look at that. Dude, 18 seconds. 18 seconds. This is freaking terrible. Uh, I feel like I'm a bit too vibrant, so let's decrease the vibrance on me a little bit like that. Eight seconds. Are we gonna make highlights? We are gonna make freaking highlights. Let's go. Let's go. Two seconds. Highlights. And there you go. Okay. Well, as you can see, this has been a huge success. To be fair, I'm already happy I was able to put in all the elements because that didn't always work in the previous episodes. But anyways, that is five minutes of Photoshopping. Very nice. Not actually, but I guess the standard for the next one remains pretty low. Let's try again, but in 30 minutes. As you can see, the clock is ready for 30 minutes, so I'd say let's not waste any time and get straight into it. Three, two, one. Let's freaking go. Of course, you've already seen me placing all these, so I'll get to it quite rapidly. As you can see, I'm already taking a little more time doing this than the last time because we already spent six minutes. Uh, let's see, what's the first thing I'm gonna do? I guess, again, some shadows on this. No, wait, wait, wait. First, the sky should be a bit less vibrant. And then at the bottom here, I want it to be quite bright because that's where the main light source is gonna be. Then again, the buildings in the background should look like they're very, very far away, just like that. Then in general, I feel like the buildings back here should feel a little bit more distant than the other ones. So let's go and make them a bit more blue and add some levels. Also, the light is mainly coming from the right, so let's go and add that just a little bit right there. Beautiful! Then we definitely want to add some levels right here because these rocks look flat as hell. And then the sky looks a bit strange, so I'm gonna overlay two solid colors to that. 20 minutes left. Let's see, I can make this logo a bit more realistic by adding some blend if, just like so. See, that is instant realism right there. Okay, it's pretty good. Then for the mask, this looks absolutely 
ridiculously bad. Let's make it a bit darker, I guess. Let's do something like this. And also some shadows on the inside of the mask right here. Okay, that is already a lot better, I'd say. Then we need that blue sort of tone on me most of all. Because right now I look absolutely just floating. Gotta be careful not to go too crazy, of course. Beautiful. And then we're also gonna need another one of these beautiful shadows kind of below me again. Arguably the most important thing anyways. Instantly a lot better. Holy guacamole. Also some shadows below the gas mask. Very good. We still have about 15 minutes left. The initial idea was to make these suits yellow as well. Shouldn't be too difficult. We just have to make this very bright yellow. And then kind of just paint on the clothing area. So not the black stuff that should remain black. I probably will make this look very realistic in the final edit. But uh, right now we just don't have that sort of time. But I guess something like this isn't even terrible. And see what happens if we do this. There you go. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Very nice. Now he is yellow as well. That is not even so bad. What the heck? These videos really challenge my perfectionism because I know I can't go too crazy, but I also don't want it to be ugly. But you guys seem to like these, so I guess uh, that's worth it. There you go. Beautiful yellow. It looks a bit strange, but it's fine. Then behind them, I'm going to try adding a very nice glow to make it look a bit more hazy. We still have 10 minutes left, so we should be good. See, just like that, make it very nice and uh, yeah, well, hazy. And then, of course, we can do the exact same thing on the front to kind of add some See, some bloom right there. And now that we made it so bright back there, we can also afford to add some highlights on me because I guess that's nice. It will always make it look a bit more premium for some reason. So only if it fits though. If it doesn't fit, please don't. All over the place. This doesn't have to be so precise at all because we don't have all day. There you go. That is uh, quite nice, I suppose. Then we can do the same thing on the soldier on the right. We have five minutes left. I guess I can just try adding a camera raw filter and kind of see where that goes because make it a bit brighter like that and then some highlights and color grading is of course one of the most important ones to give it this nice vibe there you go ladies and gentlemen okay i suppose that is quite nice but we still have four minutes left so let's see what can we add or change or improve this building right here should have a bit of a highlight since the light is coming from the right i guess that's fine then let's make some nice mist on the front on the edges and stuff that should be a bit darker though yeah just like that. Very nice and soft. And then we have one minute left and then I'd say I'm gonna call it a day because uh, I don't know what other small things we can change or add to make this better. So let's uh, re-add the camera raw filter like that. And then I would say this is pretty much it for the 30 minutes version. We have uh, 40 seconds left, but it's fine. This is uh, 30 minutes. <laughs> That for sure is a lot better. And now that we have two, let's go ahead and compare. It is pretty clear. In the first one, I barely even had time to do any blending. So it's pretty much just raw photos with uh, some very quick filters here and there. With 30 minutes, however, I was able to do quite some things and even added mist and accurate lighting. It's at least 10 times better, but still lacking in every corner. Most of all, these three guys don't really fit in here and the overall lighting accuracy could use some work. Let's see how big of a difference it makes if we give this our absolute all. So for the last time, let's go ahead and run Photoshop.
Now that is what I'm talking about. This is better in quite literally every way. So let's compare the three and see what the differences are. We already discussed the differences between the first two, so let's focus on these two instead. Obviously, the lighting issues are mostly fixed. It is much more cohesive and more atmospheric. Details are much better executed. Most of all, the gas mask has improved by miles. It's almost uncomparable at this point. Then clearly, the new one has the aesthetic going for it since it has the green goo all over the place, which makes for a second primary color, which in general is just better, makes it pop more. And the yellow of the costumes is less out of place in this one, where before it really looked just kind of strange. And really, all I can say is for this one, those extra hours really, really did improve it. So yeah, there you have it. If you like this concept, let me know down below in the comments. And if you want to edit this photo for yourself and have me react to it in the final video of this month, check the video that pops up right there somewhere for all the info you need and then I guess that's it for today. If you like this video make sure to leave a like and a comment and if you enjoy my overall content feel very very free to subscribe that would mean the world to me and then I hope I'll see you in my next video.